Hello everybody and welcome back to the James Lawrence Allcott channel. Now I did a preview on the Liverpool Real Madrid game and I'm going to do a reaction of that game as well but I've we'll just watched the championship game which I did a preview on as well so it's only right that we talk about it and phew, what a game of football. The scoreline doesn't showcase what a great game of football that was and I think both teams can can walk away from that game thinking they gave everything. The players gave absolutely everything. And there was so much action, so much going on. And for me, did Fulham deserve to win that game? I mean, who cares? I, I, I don't really want Fulham winning any game of football. I'm a QPR fan. But they were brilliant in the first half. And I think uh, it was interesting to see how it played out because you had the first half where Fulham were just far too good. Uh, the passing was slick. Um, I thought Kearney was brilliant. It was a captain's performance from him, um, especially in the second half when he had to dig in um, for, the, for the cause when Aston Villa turned on, uh, well, woke up essentially. In the first half, I think, actually the experience for Aston Villa, I think it played on their minds a little bit. I think the idea was that they were going to be steady and they, they had this low block in the first half and they were 10, 15 yards too deep. I think some people, I think QPR early in the season, did the same kind of thing and in the second half they went right this isn't working we need to push up and be a bit more positive and that's what Villa did in the second half but credit to Fulham first half they were far the better team and one man I got to talk about Mitrovic first half was brilliant I said I wrongly said on the Bull Street video I expect Terry and Chester to be able to deal with him but his touch was superb he was almost playing like a uh, number 10 at times instead of a that big target man which he is but his, his touch was great, his interlinking was great, and in the second half, he put in the hard yards. He had a great header, which he probably should have scored from. And, and in this game, although it was 1-0, there were a lot of chances. I've got it in front of me now. 12 shots from uh, Aston Villa, 15 from Fulham, but three shots on target from Fulham and two shots on target from Aston Villa. Aston Villa's second half, I thought, were, were brilliant. I think Fulham, um, Aston Villa fans can go away from this game and think, yeah, we had some chances there. Hogan had a great chance. Graben had a great moment in the in six-yard box where he laid it off to Grealish, but it was a little bit too late. And Jack Grealish, I mean, lucky to stay on the pitch, but what a player to, to watch. You can see his ability to retain the ball, even when his touch isn't good, which you saw for the uh, sending off with Dennis Adoy. He was kind of unlucky because it's one of those ones where a mistake from Grealish in terms of his first touch has actually led to Adoy getting sent off. But Grealish was, I mean... He stepped up for this cup final. He, he he took the game by the scruff of the neck, neck, but I think he was let down a little bit by the players around him. Adoma was kind of in Frederick's pocket. It never really got beyond him too much. Um, a few moments in the first half, but the second half, not that he ran out of steam, but as dominant as Villa were, his final ball wasn't that great and he didn't really beat anyone either. Um, and on the other side, Snodgrass, who you were hoping you would get some kind of quality from at some point. Again, the ball was all down the left-hand side for Villa, but he didn't really create anything at all. It was all down to Grealish, and he did his best. But, I mean, he nearly scored an absolute wonder goal, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough. Fulham have done the job. I think people have spoken about them being bottle jobs in the past. They're obviously not. That tackle from Norwood on Hurahane was a great example of that. Jukanovic, great manager. He's done it before. Uh, he's done great stuff with Watford in the past. He is clearly a very good manager. And he was able to deal with Fulham going a, a man down and and was able to kind of see out the game, which they did brilliantly. Showed the different options that they had off the bench. Christie coming on for Fredericks, who I thought had a good game, but is another one who pr he should have been definitely sent off in the first half. All these decisions make... A different game of it. Grealish going off when they had momentum or Fredericks going off and Dennis Adoy of course going off but ultimately Fulham won't care. They are in the Premier League and over the course of the season I think you can fairly say that they're, and certainly over the last two years you can say that this team, that team that he's put together totally deserves to be Premier League playing Premier League football and I think the quality that they've got on the pitch they can, they can, they can do alright in the Premier League. They're, they're They've got the ability to keep the ball well enough uh, with a couple of additions to them, maybe at centre-back, I think. Adoy, he's great on the ball, but as you see, defensively, he can be a bit of a, uh, it can be a, bit of a disaster for you. Um, so I think they need to make a, a few replacements. Mitrovic is a steady Premier League player, but is he really good enough to lead the line? I mean, he showed it today, so can he do it next season? 
For Aston Villa, this is a bit of a disaster for them. To not win that game means a lot of those players will not be playing for Aston Villa next season. Will Grealish still be there? Will John Terry be there? The way structure is going to have to change. As big a club as Villa are, it's just inevitable. And so the squ they won't get a better chance and probably won't have a better squad than they have this year. So it just shows how big a game it was. Um, Aston Villa fans, Fulham fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think uh, went right and went wrong for Fulham and Aston Villa in this game? Or was it just one of those where who takes their chance and who doesn't? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, check me out uh, later after the Champions League final. I'll be doing my uh, neutral one reaction after Liverpool versus Real Madrid. Apologies for not doing the watch along. Uh, wasn't able to do it, but uh, maybe down the road, me and the Great Touch for a Big Lab boys will be able to do it. Um, subscribe to James Lawrence Allcott. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.